Hello everyone, here we are in the guest today. We will have a new episode and by the way, we have a new guest here. Hello everyone, I'm Vicky from Nocti. I'm be happy with you here today. Yeah, so today we are going to have a special topic for the people who are looking for... Mm-hmm. Yeah, searching. Looking for... Searching, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, searching Google? Yes, okay. Google search. Google search. <laughs> so, uh, Google search? Search and find the informations. And yeah, I know that most of you are looking for very important thing is saving the time. You know, the time is the sales currency. Yeah? Yes. Of the, course. Of course, saving time. Time is money. Time is money, <laughs> yeah. Tian tian tian. Tian tian tian. So today we are going to show you the secret, the tips, and how to find the focused result that Google search team didn't want you to use the reason why because you want to keep watching the advertisements and other things so they can make more money and you are wasting more time there's google search use boolean i think this this query means boolean search uh, like the kind you used to find in libraries where you have to say a and b or c and uh, not d yeah but we you don't have to do that with, with Google. You don't have to. Speak to us like a human. Yeah, that is the reality. Yeah, I can't wait to know the secrets. Yeah, so let's start right now. So before we start, we have to understand that there is two types of operators. Yes, what's the two types? The basic and advanced. Okay. The basic operators, or what normally we call them also the GSO, it means yes. Google Search Operators. Mm-hmm. We have the basic that it can start firstly by the simple one, and normally the basic are more easy to understand. It's not so complicated, it doesn't need so much, you know, not, there's no complication in this part. Mm-hmm. So if you can start by the first operator, the AND. AND. E and D, you know, AND. Yeah, I know. It's like me and you. Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah, and you. Yeah. Yeah. So we can use the first keyword, keyword number one, AND. And one of the most important thing here is you have to write AND capital. Capital letter. Capital yeah. letter, yeah. So uh, keyword one, AND, A and D. Keyword two. So it will bring you the result of keyword one and keyword two. Yes. Also, there is another operator that is also is very important. Is what the is it? Or operator. O-R. Yeah. O-R. O-R, yes. Also, also capital. Also capital. Ah. So the or uh, uh, operator, it will be like this. Me or you. Oh, what's the difference with the The difference and? is that it divides the keyword to bring you a result separately from the first one or the second one. Oh. It means me, I will go to school or you will go to the school. So oh. one of these two already. So it divides the keyword to become separately. On, I want result from keyword number one or keyword, keyword number, number two. two. So we put yeah. keyword one or capital and keyword two. After that, we have another uh, operator, the hyphen. Hyphen. Ah. Yes. The hyphen is very important. It will help people to uh, delete some uh, results. Uh, you mean if if the information below is not what I expected, you can use the hyphen to delete it? Yes. Yeah. Oh. The, you, are, you are right. For example, I put keyword one but i delete i want delete for example a website or i want delete a keyword to to will not appear in my result for example i put keyword one Mm -hmm. and space and heaven and after i will put the keyword two or for example a website link for example i put uh amazon for example Mm -hmm. heaven amazon or heaven alibaba so all the result to have alibaba it will be excluded Yes, ah. delete it completely from the search results. So this will help me to find only the exact match keyword and delete all that uh, keywords. For example, if I don't want to find uh, uh, any result from who have 
Shenzhen, for example, or China, I will just do heaven and to delete for me all the results from Chinese, for example, Chinese company and other things. In this, I will explain it also more and uh, advanced uh, search. So this kind of search will be more effective. It will be more effective, yeah. totally. Yeah. So how about next basic operator? Okay, there is another operator that we carry the symbol code. Oh, symbol code? Yes. <laughs> symbol code, it will help you to find the exact exact match of one keyword, for example, or one, one uh, sentence. I can use, for example, a sentence like how to make pizza and put simple code behind this sentence. It will bring me all the results to have only the simple code completely. Or I can use, for example, uh, exact, uh, I want exact match keyword, like for example, LED light mm -hmm. uh, bulb. For example, LED light, mm -hmm. light bulb. Mm -hmm. So we have here three words, yeah. and I will just put the the code. Yes, <laughs> that one. So when I put the code behind and that uh, sentence, it will or that keyword, it will bring me all exact match of that. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if I didn't do that and I just write LED light bulb, it will bring me all the result for LED alone or LED light alone or LED bulb alone. So it will be an enormous number of keywords that it will waste the salesperson a lot of time. Yes, yeah, so it means it will provide the information exact. Yeah, that's why we get exact match. Yeah. <laughs> so about another one, basic operator. Yeah, there is another one also is the asterisk or what you get also the wild card. The uh, wild card is, know. you know, that kind you of star. Know. A star. Yeah, star, star. I guess like this, like this. Yeah. Winkle, winkle, yes. star. <laughs> yeah. So for the star, for example, I want to find the continuous word. For example, I have, for example, for example, uh, a name, Shenzhen, and I don't know what's the second name of, for example, a company, but I have technology. Okay, so we can make Shenzhen space star and space technology it will bring me all the results of any company who have a name between Shenzhen and technology it can be Shenzhen Nocte technology Shenzhen Reno technology or any other thing else or for example a keyword that I have for example LED okay but I don't know what's the rest LED light what LED light bulb or LED light so I can put LED light and put in the stars after that so it will bring me all the suggestions that it come after that word. Uh, okay, one question. How about when you put in the start in the words? Yeah, if you put it in the start of the words, it will bring you the result before uh, before that. It uh, means if I have you right... You can put it in the middle. Uh, you can put it in the, the front word. of oh, the word okay. or behind uh, the after of the word or in the middle. And it's very important to use the star and I'm going to explain also how to use it. Do we need front. to uh, put the base in it? I yeah, miss. we have to put, we have, uh, for some cases, if it's a keyword, we have to put a space. Oh. If it's not a keyword, we have to, ca we can link it to, uh, together. For example, if it's a domain, mm -hmm. okay, I can put site and two points, for example, I can make star, for example, and put in co.uk, for example. So this is also, I'm going to show some examples about it. Okay, got it. So... Yeah, there is another, also another basic operator is the parentheses. Ah. What are you doing? Like my round face. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so since my, my face is not round, I will just do like this, parentheses. Yes. <laughs> okay. So there is another is the parentheses. The parentheses is when you have, a, like for example, I want to find keyword one, or keyword two, but in a city, for example, or a country, or any other thing. So we can put under parentheses keyword one or keyword two or keyword one and keyword two. And after the parentheses, I will put Shenzhen, for example, or USA or New York or any other city to find the keyword in that city number one, keyword one in that city or keyword two in that city. Ah, I know it. It's just like my formulation. Totally. Yeah. Exactly. The same. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So for the moment, I think that this is most of the basic operator that you may need as a salesperson to filter all the results. And now we will go before we continue to the next part of the advanced operator. We go to do sponsor time. 
Okay, sponsor time. Yes. Sponsor time. Yes. Here will we make much money? Yes, of course. Yeah, you can start. Okay. This video is sponsored by Nocte.cn. If you want to share your product or company information with the world, Nocte can help you to build creative website, promoting your social media, and also shooting professional pictures for your product or factories. Don't forget to check the link below at www.nocte.cn. So, yeah, sponsor time is gone. Now we start in the return to our sharing, yeah? Yes. Okay, so we'll talk about the search, yeah, Google search of uh, advanced operators. It's very important to understand that there is a lot, a lot of operators that we use for hacking, finding passwords, finding contact information, and more and more. You know, when you are in the, the, in the internet, you always, you don't use the regular way. And that is how we can get a lot of information from the search method. So the advanced search operators, it help you also to get information specific from different parts. Sometimes we can even add access to, to camera or access to password to login in others. So today we are going to focus on the first advanced uh, search operator. It's what you call it site. Site. Yeah. What is site operator? The site operators it help you to extract information from one domain. It means it give you all the information from one domain. For example, I can use site two point and I put the information for example from alibaba.com so I want to get the information from alibaba.com so I will put site two point alibaba.com and here when I do search I will get all the links from Alibaba so I will have to add a space and put in a keyword by using the basic operator mm -hmm. and getting the whole result of that keyword during that website mm -hmm. So, what if I want to get more information? Uh, for example, uh, for example, I want to check more class, and I need to know their contact. Oh, yeah. How can I do that? You know, like what you said, you are using here keywords, and when you use keywords, we need adding some keywords that have relation with contact, like for example, contact, email, tell, or any other thing else. So, and every website they may have already the contact information inside. For example, like what I said, I give the example of Alibaba as a good example. We will put the site two point alibaba.com and I'm going to put the first keyword, like for example, LED light screen, or for example, comic products, or any, any keyword that it, I'm interested in. So when I go to the next part, I will use what we call it, the code symbol. Like that I can get the information of contact. I only put code symbol and I put contact inside. So it will force to bring me that uh, result of contact and all my, all my search. So I can get all the information about the company, like for example, phone number, email, and other things. And this is, a, a, I can say, is a good source for me yes. to get a lot of leads. Yes. Okay, I have another question. Yeah. What if I want to focus on the class in the target country? I mean, uh, for example, the, in the UK, uh, in the Europe. Uh, like French, yeah. French, yeah. Italy, yeah, 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 something yeah, yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that is easy. For finding information about clients in another country, and that's what you call the segment market. Okay, it means you segment your strategy for finding the result of specific country. So you can use the site, but this time we are not going to use the domain, we are going to use the TLD, okay? So the TLD is one method already by using, for example, in China, we have the TLD of China is CN, dot CN, yeah? Oh, yeah. So it yes. means if I want to get some information about some company here in China, we go to dot CN, and so CN is a local TLD. And other country, like for example, France or UK, for example, UK, UK we have co.uk, French we have .fr, and uh, uh, Italy we have .at. And you can get a, the full list and Wikipedia, right? And the list is already in the link below here. You go to this link and you'll find all the TLD of every country. So this TLD, it help us, it don't give us the full, because sometimes some domain, they may have .com but it gives us a list, the popular website who are already registered with that TLD and give us the full information. That is help us a lot. For example, 
how it will work. I will use site operator site to point, and I will add another point of the extension of the TLD like co.uk, and after that space, and I will put my keyword. For example, uh, we can find some like VAP product. For example, like I put VAP and I add store, for example. So this it will help me to get all the information of the store website in UK and getting the whole list from there. Okay, but I always face the problems like that. Uh, what if I don't want to the information below? It's not, I don't want it appear. It means a lot of information is useless for me. Uh, for example, uh, for example, with Amazon, uh, eBay. How about? What okay. Should, what should I sometimes, do? sometimes you may get informations or some result that you might don't need, but this result have a high, high don't we can call a high high density in the in the search. Like for example, Facebook, social media, mm -hmm. or some uh, some uh, e-commerce website like Amazon, eBay. Mm -hmm. That is right. So what if you want to get right of this result? We only keep the same extension what I showed before, the site point and point co dot uk mm -hmm. and our keyword and. And we will add again heaven site two point and we put the domain like for example if you, the result is coming from facebook.com so we'll put site uh, minus site two point facebook.com if you have from amazon we do minus site it means you just have to need to add more site two point uh, uh, amazon.com okay mm. so this is the way in how I can reduce all that links that you are already taking the, 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 the result in my search. So it is a combination by Between basic the, operators with basic uh, operator with and advanced, advanced operator. operator. Yeah, so that is how the, that's what we call a Boolean shares, advanced Boolean shares, it, how it will work. So it is help you to save a lot of times and get an accurate result. Mm -hmm. That it help you to get the most important uh, information and extract the most important information from the search engine. Okay, got it. Yeah. yeah. So for today, I think that is already enough, and we will have a next episode to share with you more information. I wish that uh, this episode was very uh, useful for you. We can have more topic for the next episode, and I guess yes. we will have more episodes in reality. Sure. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask us. We will answer you in the next episode. Yeah, and stay tuned. Yeah. And see you soon. 第一个问题, uh, the, first problem, uh, the first question is what? It's about the search operator. Uh, 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 continue. Let's just No, I, I have to start. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. This video is sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't let's see. laughs> <coughs> wow. What? What was it? He, uh, he, he said I need to louder. Louder, yeah, 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 you are right. <coughs> you are right, I feel okay. Hey, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> If you have any questions, just feel free to. to <laughs> <laughs>